The second season of Classic Doctor Who opens up with the rather entertaining novelty piece Planet of Giants, wherein Doctor, Ian, Susan and Barbara have successfully found themselves back on Earth, although they are impossible. Well, it seems to be the appropriate time and place, London in 1964-3, although they're about the size, about twice the size of, a, of an ant. In a possible homage to The Incredible Shrinking Man, Planet of Giants is quite a fun piece of work, and its cliffhanger is quite exciting, and certainly it reminds one of that film. We have a decent start to the second season, one with a purely science fiction concept rather than a uh, somewhat novelty historical or a concept which is more fantasy than pure science fiction this is a concept this is a great speculative what if what if they were really small what what would it look like to a person how do they survive the visual of Ian looking up at the dead human face is one of the great images in classic Doctor Who in my opinion really really good stuff actually let's read out loud about this serial the concept of the Doctor and his companion shrinking in size was initially proposed as the first story of the show's first season, written by C.E. Webber and entitled The Giants. After some rewrites, the serial was rejected by show creator Sidney Newman in June 1963 due to his technical complexity and lack of character development. The concept of The Giants was given to writer Robert Gould in mid-1963 to develop as the four-part fourth serial of the first season, but it was dropped in by January 1964 due to scripting difficulties. By February 1964, the serial was assigned to writer Lewis Marks. The main narrative was inspired by Rachel Carson's 1962 environmental science book Silent Spring, the first major documentation on human impact on the environment. The fictional insecticide featured in the story, DN6, was inspired by incidents described by Carson regarding the impact of DDT on insects. Writer Mark Wilson wrote in 2017 that the story aired during a time where environmental awareness was beginning to develop among the British public. Whittaker commissioned marks for the serial in May 1964, then titled The Planet of Giants. Mervyn Pinfield was assigned to direct the serial. No doubt this would have been an extremely exciting return to viewing a Doctor Who in 1964. A pure science fiction concept, a great twist that was revealed midway through the episode, and one of the more exciting cliffhangers on the show thus far, in my opinion. One of its cutest, you might say. I would say. If anything was to get you excited for Doctor Who's second season, this would be it. And if this serial didn't get you hyped, the next one most certainly would ridiculously hyped. But we need to get through three episodes of Planet of Giants first. And they'll be, you know, they'll be fairly fun. They'll be decent. But let's get through these three episodes and then we'll get to the first Doctor's finest serial of all, perhaps. Um, I'm hyping it up too much, perhaps. Let's, let's close that here. Next time we'll be Planet of Giants part two. Do tune in then if you're so inclined. Thanks again, my good and dear friends.